if we are ready to go. I have 100. percent Ready to go. Ready to go. <laughs> Freaking always. All right. Always. Here, here's something. Here's a little fun something that I put together last night. You knock on the door, and it opens. A dark, luxurious, rich, fancy, black door that feels heavy and exclusive opens, and you walk inside. And there's a terrible twisting and a falling, and then a fuzziness, like you <laughs> drank too much, settling in around your eyes and mouth. And when you come to, you are not standing, but sprawled in a warm, dark, muffled environment. You can hear voices muttering outside and some sort of activity. But in here, it is very quiet and it is cramped and it is stuffy. And you said it's dark? It's, it's completely dark. There is no source of light in here. Must get out. <laughs> Nobody fart. I'm going to cast light. You cast light. And how strongly do you cast? Just like normal? You don't try to... Uh, uh, just a cantrip? So, yes, regular normal light. Well, this is a very small closet, so it is suddenly extremely bright oh, in no. here. Congratulations. <laughs> ah, no. No. Mm. You, mm. Ah. Yeah. You can see everything perfectly. You can see Isaac, and he looks uh, disheveled. Uh, you can see Boom, and Boom looks, I mean, honestly, not very disheveled, I would say. Mm -hmm. Just, and, yeah, he's but, a fairly shoveled individual. But yeah. is in an uncomfortable position. Yeah. And, and, you know, but what you don't see is there's no Bethus anywhere. You don't see Bethus. It's probably very crowded in here with Bethus. Uh, it's good that Bethus isn't in here, really. But what you do see in here is lots and lots and lots of uniforms. They're black, like the same kind of black, and they're made of a black, rich, worthwhile, exclusive, worthy fabric. And they have a red trim, and it's around the collars. Uh, and the cuffs, and there's neat black buttons down the front, and the uh, there's a stiffness to the to the outfits that tells you that there's sort of like formality here, but not mm. military formality, but something close to it. Hmm. Servants' uniforms, maybe. Yeah, or I don't know, security, or something like that. Uh -huh. I, I, I feel around for where the doorknob should be in this closet. Uh, you don't have any trouble finding it because it's super bright in here now, so you okay. can clearly see yeah. that there's the back side of the door. Uh, there, there is a doorknob in here. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. I'm just going to... Oh, yeah. Go, go get, get, get it. Please. Uh, you, uh, it's not locked. Yeah. It's just then, the, yeah, the weird yeah, angles. angles. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. So, yeah, you open the door. And mm -hmm. uh, there is a hallway in front of you. And the hallway is like a hallway that you've seen before and that is long and hallway shaped. And it is mm -hmm. unlike a hallway in that you've seen before and that it is rich, expensive, worthwhile, exclusive, black metal with a rich red carpet runner that goes down the center of it. It seems like it, it quite matches, but not quite, but very close, you know, in a way that's mm -hmm. supposed to coordinate yeah. uh, mm -hmm. with that red trim around the uniforms you saw before. And there is just rows and rows and rows of, I guess they must be paintings because it looks like some sort of enchanted painting because it just looks like s the stars are very close to you and they are twinkling and they are very near and it's just it's infinite blackness but the the but soft warm light glows from the ceiling and a, a slow whum echoes throughout the space mm -hmm. mm. Ah. Okay. i'm gonna look back in the closet are all of the uniforms generally like human sized or are there some that will be like gnome sized uh there are a variety of uniforms actually mm -hmm. and uh i think you'll have no trouble problem finding what you need especially if you have multiple heads or extra limbs oh okay but you'll everybody will be able to find a uniform that will more or less fit them ah, ah. i'm gonna grab one of these yeah I, Indeed, if, yes. if people are supposed to be in uniform i i, yeah. I don't want to get caught without one yeah, let's yeah. let's try to fit in until we figure out what's going on here. How do mm -hmm. I fit this over 
plate mail. You can find one. F find a big one. I'm just going to like find one that I can fit over the sweater. Uh, make me an investigation check. Oh, everyone? Everyone, go for it. Yeah. While you're looking around and getting dressed. Uh, that's a 16. 16. Uh, that would be a 20. A 20? A yep. natural 20? Nope. Dirty 20. Dirty 20. Still. Uh, 24. Tw wow. All right. Okay, those are good rules. I'm going to rule Boom is smart and nothing that, else. That, you, that you absolutely find what you're looking for. And because this is a very fancy place, there are basic tools that you can use to sort of take in like clips and stuff like that, B uh, pins. Mm. There's like safety pins. So if you, you know, you show up, you're not going to look like a slob. Yeah. Right? You know, yep. the accommodations have been made and there's a little chest and you find that. And, uh, and boom, because mm. you are so smart, as, as you are in there, you notice that there is a little like uh, plaque that identifies. Okay. And it says, Xantonian Mega Cruiser, Platinum Sermon. What does that mean? Oh, well, you uh, found it and you've read it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I point at the sign. I think we're on a ship and I... Platinum Sermon. I recognize both of those words, but I don't. Is it going to be some very expensive priests? I guess so. Yeah. I mean, they got the clothes for it, I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay, huh. put on the outfits, whatever anybody says to you, just repeat it back in the same tone. Okay. Okay. All right. Not don't take that too literally. <laughs> don't take that too, too literally. Liter don't take that too literally. I hate everything in here. So do I. I hate so everything. So do I. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys doing with your familiars? Uh, find a tiny uniform for it. Can I find a tiny uniform for Vulp? I'm going to say that you can or put a hat, hat on Vulp. A Vault. hat? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give Vulp a tiny, like, do they have, like, one of those, like, um, I imagine, like, those, like, um, uh, the hotel... Like Stab. bellhop. Bellhop. Yeah, yeah, a little bellhop hat. Absolutely. That's okay, what the hats great. look like. Yeah. Perfect. Little pillbox hat. Yes. Mm. Yes. Uh. Yep. I'll pretty much do the same thing unless there's. Uh, I. Boom definitely wouldn't know what a trash can looks like, but if there's one in here, he'll just grab it, and turn it upside down, and put it on top. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm going to say that you can definitely find a trash can and great. put it on top. Yep. Mm -hmm. He just he turns it upside down and puts it on top. And it's just like, we don't know what these people are afraid of, and let's make sure it's not us. Great. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah. Good. Perfect. Whatever Fantastic. You, however you want to look in this situation, yep. that's how you can look. Yep. All right. So all right, now now what are you doing? Uh, I think we should, I guess we should see that what's down here. Yeah. Venture down the hallway. Yeah. All right. You, yep. ve you venture down the hallway. And uh, you see that there is uh, a steady stream of people dressed like you mm -hmm. uh, going to the left. Mm -hmm. And that you see they're all streaming out of a large room that is sort of to the right. And if you can, you can get eyes on it. And it looks like a big ballroom, but it still looks like it's being set up a bit. Uh, mm -hmm. They're wheeling in carts. They're putting up decorations and stuff like that. You know, they're, they're, it's a, some sort of banquets being decorated for. And uh, there's more of these weird magical paintings that just have blackness and these <laughs> twinkly stars mm -hmm. on them. But, uh, you know, there's also an incredible, like, you can see there's a huge red orb in the background. And you can see 11 tiny blue orbs that are all sort of orbiting amongst one another and, mm. uh, and and like one cluster there i mean they're not really you don't really see them moving because they're planets spoiler but like they're all like <laughs> clustered together uh and then there's like you know some other bits and bobs and it's mm. there's a nebula in the background it's incredibly gorgeous mm -hmm. oh wow huh. This is all very fancy. Okay. Uh, walk it like I've... brushes crumbs off of her off of her sweater. Could I make an insight check to figure out if there is one of these other people wandering around that I could like convincingly um, grab and get some information out of? Yes, absolutely. Go for it. Okay. That would be a twelve. A twelve. All right. 
Well, you see um, a person who looks more or less like you. Uh, she's got like purpley greeny skin, mm -hmm. sort of, and she's not a tiefling, or at least not the kind of tiefling you've ever seen. She has just like, instead of hair, she's got like sort of tentacles that are mm -hmm. sort of flapping behind her. But you know, other than that, you know, eyes, nose, mouth. You know, okay, looks... recognizably a hominid of some yeah, kind. Yeah, exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. So she's, she's hustling around mm -hmm. and she's like, do you, do you wave her over? Yeah, yeah, yeah. just like. And she goes like, you know, put, she's got a stack of plates and she's like, what? What is going on? What is going, what do you mean what's going on? What is, uh. wait, are you the three that are missing? And she just sort of looks at you all and it's like, oh my God, Monsieur, B <laughs> why did I do this to myself? <laughs> Monsieur Boggle Glaxilon has been looking for you. <laughs> <laughs> Monsieur uh, Bubble Glaxalon. Well, direct us to him immediately. Go to the kitchen! Okay. Okay. She puts, continues putting this huge stack of plates out. And then the kitchen is where all of these other people have been going. Well, all right then. I suppose we've got a gig. Good news. We're going to get paid. Yay! With what? Money. <laughs> some, some, some kind. Um, okay. okay. Yeah, I've never had a... I've never really had a job before. <laughs> I'm sure he'll do great. <laughs> <laughs> it's food service. It's yeah. everyone's first job. Yeah, I'm sure yeah. That, that this clientele will be easygoing. Absolutely. <laughs> Any, anyhow, let's not worry about that now. You guys are going to the kitchen, right? <laughs> yes. Yep. Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. Do you want to do anything else? Uh, so where where is everybody? You said everybody was going to the left, like uh, down a hallway? Yeah, every, so you, sort of, you started a, a hallway. Uh, in, a, in a coat closet, essentially. Mm -hmm. uh, and you went down one section of the hallway and you saw two branches. One to the left, which is like lots of people streaming in, and then one to the right where there's a ballroom. And it looks like now people are coming back out of the kitchen. They're going back into the oh, ballroom. So, there's, oh, so they're the setting kitchen. up. Oh, right. I see. Because okay. yeah. they're doing this big banquet setup. Oh, okay. I get so, you. Um, All right. All right. We go, into the, we go into the kitchen. Yep. All right. You go into the kitchen and it is enormous. Unlike the rest of this, which is tasteful and black and stuff like that, the kitchen is just huge and has high ceilings and gigantic, like super, like they look like they're very su super huge industrial exhaust fans, but mm -hmm. in D&D &D terms, however you might think of that. And it's just, it's hot in here. Trapped. And it's uh, a hive of activity and there's people going back and forth and there's huge groaning boards of, all of the weirdest food you have ever seen and people are just walking with military-like precision and they're taking things in and out and back at the end of the kitchen you can see a small man who looks you know pretty similar to humanoid again uh he looks almost exactly like a humanoid uh and in fact just has slightly pointier ears and two little antenna Mm. Uh, but they're mostly hidden under his uh, under his fancy hat, which is like the hat that you put on Vault, but fancier. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, so and, weird elf. And uh, and and you know, and he's shouting instructions. He's sort of conducting the symphony of food. Uh, so and uh... well, I think this is all you, Sticky Fingers. Well, all right then. Uh... Let me put it this way: Do you want either one of us to do it? No. Yeah. <laughs> Monsieur Bubble Glaxalon. And then, <laughs> <laughs> and then he and then he sort of is interrupted and he goes, "What? Oh, my missing weights! My missing weight stuff! Thank God! Thank goodness! Thank goodness! You have been assigned to work the head table! Quickly! Quickly! Quickly!" What did you do? Got us a job. Hey, I'll, I'll have you know. Oh God! Uh, S. <laughs> I'll have you know, Mrs. Starblaster is already in the VIP lounge. Get out there! Uh, yeah, right away, right away. I'd say you were handed these big trays of food. Uh, you've handed a huge yeah. tray of food. Huge mm -hmm. tray of food. Uh, do you guys want to look at your food or try any of your food before you take it out to the VIP lounge? I want to look at it. I don't want to try it. That's... I think with all the black decor with red highlights, the endless void of stars, the enormous red orb glowing, and the strange people about... Isaac is not going to eat anything that he finds here in case it prevents him from leaving again. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. No? Yeah. You don't want to try anything? No. no. It's possible. We're in the Feywild. This is hell. <laughs> I just think that would be bad, a bad food service job. 
All right, well, it's... I mean, does it look interesting? Uh, it looks incredibly interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when my food is interesting. <laughs> I can guarantee you've never seen green foam this color, but it oh. is expertly balanced on, like, it looks like, I don't know, a weird cracker. And there's another <laughs> weird green thing coming off the top, and there's, like, little drizzles and, like, artfully arranged toothpicks. It looks beautiful. No. <laughs> no. Mm foams. No. Do not eat. We can get a sandwich later. It'll be fine. Who are you telling that? Right. Let's go. Yep. <laughs> All right. Erica, yep. take a point of inspiration. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, it is delicious. What does it taste like? Uh, this was the green foam on a cracker. It's probably... Um, so the cracker is sort of like a, it's all like, kind of like, like a, you know, like the little fried cheese crackers that they make where they just, mm. um, or it's just like a sheet of Parmesan. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Um, and then the green foam is like this light, kind of sweet, kind of savory mousse, um, that has oh. like a, a, a very slightly like fishy flavor mm. to it. Um, and then the stuff coming off is like a, sort of like a bright, um, like vegetable, sort of like a, uh, like maybe like kind of like mint, but like a little bit, not quite as, um, as cold. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is. It's absolutely delicious. Uh, your stomach at first is like, we, oh, 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 come on in. Mm -hmm. yeah. Send friends. Uh, right. <laughs> so, oh, uh, what a perfectly balanced little uh, amuse bouche. Yeah, yeah, yeah mm -hmm. exactly. And there's like 60 more on your tray, so you know. Anyhow, <laughs> uh, you're being pointed. You and a smaller group of these waiters are being ushered mm -hmm. to the VIP lounge. Mm -hmm. uh, so you go through this big ballroom, which is clearly you know set up for for people like that. But you know, overlooking the ballroom in this observation room above there is what is clearly the VIP lounge, and it's not the same sort of like you know, very tasteful, neutral black. You know, this is a little bit more personal, you um, know. Black. Yeah, there's a, there, you know, there's um, crown molding right. and other okay. things. Like this is, you know, there's luxurious soft seats and stuff like that, whereas the ballroom has, you know, ballroom seating and stuff right. like that. Right, right, yeah. yes. You know, this is, this is where the people who are so rich, they get to be comfortable are. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And so, you know, this is actually, has, has, uh, there's a lot of casualness in this room. Mm. Uh, because uh, coming from the people who are in here, everybody that you are with is, uh, make me a perception check. Uh, you've got to be careful in space with the casualities. Ooh, I got a 19. Ah. Uh, I got a 5. <laughs> uh, what was it, perception? Perception. Ah, uh, but a moment, excuse me. Or make me a reading, make me a reading the room, checking the vibes check. How oh yeah, that would be perception. Uh, oh, uh, it's, it's, or insight. That's, that's still a nineteen. <laughs> uh, However, you want to roll that. How do you like a three? Oh, perfect. Okay. Excellent. Good. Um, all right. So you two, uh, boy, uh, these people seem way more relaxed. Maybe this is more casual. <laughs> uh, uh, you not only notice that the staff are uh, on their best behavior. Mm -hmm. uh, some of them seem particularly nervous, mm. and uh, they are particularly nervous around one guy, and uh, he looks, he's, you know, it's an alien, but not really an alien, sort of, you know, a Star Trek human alien. Maybe he's got some ridges across his nose or something like that, mm -hmm. but he has just, he's big, he's... Bajorish. Yeah, he just has, like, He's a huge, stocky, lanky guy with a big mm. scar across his face, and he's holding like a, you know, some sort of like laser weapon and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Mm. And he looks like he's ready for action. Mm -hmm. mm. Um, and uh, and so people seem to be definitely keeping their distance around that that uh, guy. Having gigged before, Isaac rolls stealth, knowing <laughs> that his job is to be largely invisible in these situations. Ooh, yes. Uh, so that is a. Fourteen. Fourteen. You know, to be quiet, unobtrusive, uh, pay attention, basically don't get in the way of anyone who's wealthy enough to have you killed. 
Oh, very good. Excellent. All right. Anybody else want to like roll a blending in stealth check while you circulate the room with hors d'oeuvres? No, absolutely not. No? Do I? Uh, Walkit is going to walk up to everybody and go, Hi, I'm Way Walkit. Try these. Oh, and there she goes. All right. There these goes. ones are good. Uh, and oh. uh, various people go, Oh, thank you. Nom, 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 nom. And, you know, and they're drinking yeah. and stuff yeah. like that. And, and oh. yeah, they Enjoy. take, they mm. take your hors d'oeuvres. And yeah. some people are like, oh, no, not for me. And some, you know, mm -hmm. you, you do that. Yeah. Uh, Jacob, what do you, what does uh, Boom, Boom do? Boom, uh, like, stands at the edge of the room, holds the tray. Whoever wants stuff can eat stuff. <laughs> uh, he is essentially casing the joint and staying out of the way. He is not circulating. He is that stationary person that when they are out, then they will go back and get more and then come back or he will then hide the tray and pretend to be a guard. He hasn't gotten that far yet. Okay. All right, so you're just going to wait there and wait till people come to you. Can you describe what your hors d'oeuvres look like? <clears throat> yes. Uh, shrimp. It's all shrimp. Right. Various mm, types mm. of krill and shrimp of various sizes. Uh, a penelope of colors. Uh, multiple uh, heads. Difficult to tell sometimes which end uh, did the thinking. Uh <laughs> just in a giant, artfully arranged pile that in and of itself looks like a shrimp. All right. Mm. Well, uh, it's, it's a weird shrimpy Jenga. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, perfect. Enjoy that. Some people come and take these shrimp, mm. but some people are like... Uh, so, you maybe got a bit of a, a, a dud on the appetizer tray, so yeah. you, people mm. people are not going to be bothering you. Perfect. Uh, what are you... What are your, what does your food look like, Isaac? I have drinks. Absolutely. I have champagne flutes, or flutes of something that is uh, clear and light colored and effervescent. Oh, perfect. Mm. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Yes, you, you definitely have that. Why does my computer keep going to sleep? Stop that, I need you. <laughs> uh, all right, so you're in this room. Uh, oh. Let's see. Uh, now, so, you can, so you're in the room, mm. you're listening, you're circulating. Yep, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to, mm -hmm. if somebody is Keeping my ears peeled. A, yeah, All I, right. I, 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 trying to find anything about Beppis. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Ooh, yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> Does anyone want to look for Beppis? <laughs> <laughs> uh, pretty much keeping like his ears peeled for anybody like that may have heard like, there's a something vaguely loxodon shape screaming and mewling their way and apologizing through the lower decks. <laughs> yeah, there, there's. Yeah. Yeah. I encountered a rude new dude <laughs> running around. <laughs> <laughs> uh, any yes, plaintive newts? Yes, panicked and just closed. <laughs> yep. All right, so, Two so trunks. are you guys all together? or Is, is the party together or are you splitting up? Um, we're all in the same room, but I think it sounds like we're sort of circulating around. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I actually, the person who is very intimidating over in the corner, the guy with the, the laser rifle. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, I'll circulate near him. Oh, perfect. Mm. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, let's let's resolve sort of what happens to all of you one at a time since you're not together. Okay. All right. All right. So, uh, way walk it. Yeah. Uh, you come up and uh, uh, you have your tray, and people like seem pretty interested in your in your things. And who do you meet here? Uh, all right. And so you meet uh, uh, you, you this uh, sort of. Um, how do you describe a person as looking spineless, even though they have like a, they are standing up perfectly straight? This kind of like you know shiftless, retreating, retreating, yeah, weaselly looking guy, smarmy, mm. not quite smarmy, just mm. sort of like you know a a, a pathetic used car salesman. Uh, uh, mm, but yep. he's got the same pointy ears and a little antenna, and but he's got a little sash that says uh, uh, President Gemicule Nine. Uh, and uh, he is, he's, he's like, oh, can I have one of those, please? Yeah, hi, I'm Waywalkit. Here you go. Oh, hello, Waywalkit. My name is Smogglenax Intergestion. Smogglenax, lovely to meet you. Oh, thank you. You can call me your lordship, the Intergestion. Oh, your lordship, of course. And he's, he's eating a lot of these. And he's going to tell you about uh, Gemicule 9. Would you like to hear about Gemicule 9? Yes, I would. Where's that? Oh, my gosh. Well, you have to come and check out Gemicule 9. Uh, so, uh, Gemicule 9, we're, we're, we're in orbit around our, 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 our sun, the, the, uh, in the galactic number, it's Polynute 9843F. 
Surely you've heard of it. <laughs> I wouldn't blame you if you have it. Most people go to Gemicule 6 or Gemicule 4, but I'll but I'll have you know, Gemicule 9 has some really great things. We've got, you know, we're the last sanctuary of the le of the Gemiculean letter s lesser spotted moss nog, and he's going to tell you all about it. <laughs> So that's what's going to happen to you. Okay. And he's Way walk gets into this. All right. Way, uh, do you have any questions for him? What's a moss nog? Oh my goodness! All of these things I wrote down, <laughs> and you and you puzzle out that moss nogs are small frog-like creatures that, through an astonishing feat of what galactic archaeologists have dubbed <laughs> dispersed simultaneous evolution, somehow naturally emerged on six of the eleven Gemiculean mini planets where it filled the exact same niche of small, cute, but easily startled and killed amphibian for every <laughs> <laughs> They are extremely stupid, mate only wants to have a terrible habit of eating their own young because they forget what they look like. <laughs> 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 Due to their fragile nature, they are only left on Gemicule 9, where they have survived because the planet is far too unfashionable to attract tourists, popular rock bands, or a Starbucks franchise. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Neat! <laughs> cool! <laughs> Jacob! Yes! You stand there, mm. and a lot of people come by and they, and they look, at your, and they look yeah. at your shrimp, and they're like, oh. I wouldn't. Danubian mega shrimp. Ooh, ooh, maybe later, you know. But I wouldn't. Three people come up to you, mm -hmm. and they're like, "Hey, hey, do you want to sign a petition?" And they fear to. <laughs> 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 they take uh, they take a petition, like out of a secret pocket in their uniform because they're other wait staff, uh -huh. and it's a, and it's a petition to. Perform to preserve the Gemiculean lesser spotted moss nog. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? What do you Are you not familiar with the Gemiculean lesser spotted moss nog? And they uh, they are extreme yeah. and they tell you all about this stupid amphibian um, that's no, cute no, and is no, easily killed no. and it eats its own young. No. If I sign that, do you go away? <laughs> Uh, and they're like, if you don't sign it, they'll all go away. We have to stop. We have to stop Star Blaster's vacation plan. But that's as far as you get because now we're gonna okay. now we're gonna go see <laughs> to, to Cameron. Cameron, mm -hmm. you're just gonna listen, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to circulate and like. All right, make me a how much you can uh, reasonably pick up because it's already 4:40. Uh huh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that would be perception. That would be a four. A four. Oh, okay. Uh, well, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you the basics. Uh, there is a lady there, mm -hmm. and she is the biggest, most important lady in that she is 11 feet tall. Ooh. She is uh, she is um, uh, she's got <laughs> sort of gray skin. Mm -hmm. uh, she has uh, six legs. Uh, she has uh, you know a weird pair of insectile wings on oh. her back. She's big and sturdy, and she has a laugh that carries across the entire VIP place, and people are waiting on her hand and foot and foot and foot and foot and foot. Mm. <laughs> I, think, I think Kathleen's been reading our journal. Uh, <laughs> she's huge, and she can really step on you. Take that shot. <laughs> <laughs> I know what the internet wants. Um, anyhow, this is, you pick up uh, through, uh, through basic observation of everybody saying, Yes, Miss. Yes, Miss Starblaster. That this is uh, e Epsir Epsirnat Starblaster the seventh, hmm. and she. This is her ship. She owns it. She employs all the people on here, and she is having a big party. And she is attended by two people. Uh, one who uh, the guy with the laser rifle is clearly her head of security. Right. Uh, and uh, you know. Uh, I don't. Why is he here alone? I don't know. That seems weird, but you know, maybe she trusts everyone here. Uh, hmm. You don't really pick up any more than that. Uh, and uh, there's a few other hangers-on, and uh, there's one uh, kind of loud guy that is uh, sort of, you know, describing to her in great detail and mentioning things about sauna rooms <coughs> and and pedicure ponds and stuff like that. Uh, and uh, and you pick up all this, and people take your champagne flutes, and somebody just takes your last champagne flute. When suddenly a chime goes, 
and you hear someone do some clapping and you realize that while you have been circulating in this room, the ballroom below you has filled. Oh. Mm. And you can see that there are all of the people, and these are uh, these look like uh, they look uh, very much like the person that you were talking to, and the guy, the mm -hmm. head waiter, and but they're all sort of different colors. Mm -hmm. uh, but these are you've picked up through the DMs telling you that these are Gemaculians. These are all sorts of Gemaculians who are mm. here mm -hmm. at this party, and they're dignitaries from the various mini planets. Aha. Uh, mm. And uh, so anyhow. So, uh, but it's a uh, it's a uh, Esperat Star Blaster the Seventh party, mm. and she's here to talk. And she says, and she she somebody sort of wordlessly hands her a microphone, and she goes out to the edge of the luxury VIP suite. And oh, my mic is rubbing. It's my coat. Sorry. She goes out to the edge of the luxury VIP suite, and she goes, "Hello, Gemiculians." Welcome to what I am calling the launch party for my third vacation planet. I am so delighted to have rid you of your little debt problem in exchange, which I think for the fairest terms, Gemicule 9, which everyone knows is the worst of your planets, the one nobody likes. And just the infamy of having it be one of my vacation planets well people will come to your miserable little sector they'll 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 visit your other planets it will bring up everyone and maybe you'll even get a starbucks one day <laughs> and uh and at that point guns go off <laughs> <laughs> uh and uh, and uh, and uh, and and people start shooting in the air and uh, and somebody else grabs a microphone that was hidden underneath at one of the tables in the other banquet area, and they go, "Not so fast, Espernat Star Blaster the Seventh. <laughs> we are here from the. Li <laughs> <laughs> Why do I do this? We are here from the Lesser Spotted Mossnog Ad Action Project, but you can just go a map." <laughs> 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 and we're not letting you terraform Gemicule 9 into a vacation home! We'll have you know that the lesser spotted moss nog is extremely galactically endangered! And if you and if you pave its habitat, there won't be any left! <laughs> well <sighs> I think this is a fine time to get out of here. Yeah, I guess I'm I'm all out of I have to go reload in the kitchen. Hmm. I was thinking something a little more dramatic. Yeah, I'm out too. Uh, does anyone have anything worth stealing? <laughs> I, mean, I think everybody does. Are there banners? Uh, up here? No, but there is a balcony. I guess, you know what? There are banners. There Why are banners? Say, there, absolutely. There's some Fan banners that go over the whole of this thing. Fantastic. Boom yells. Viva la revolution! <laughs> and then shoots one of them with lightning, so it lights on fire. Let's go! <laughs> okay! Right. Okay, so the banners absolutely light on fire, and then you hear this, Fweep! 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 Fire detected! Fire detected! Slam! 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 And every single uh, door out of this place slams shut mm. to, of course, contain the fire because you're on a <laughs> spaceship. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yep. Uh, and uh, and uh, then the... And then... Beep! 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 Action determined. And then huge sprinklers start going off, soaking everyone. Ah. Uh, so now it's extra chaotic because now people are panicking <laughs> and it's wet. <laughs> Boom is sitting in the middle of it just going. <laughs> no, lightning. no lightning, no lightning. No, 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 of course not. How do we feel about fire, though? Uh, I don't think the ship likes it. Okay. What, what are you holding up? The tray over my head because it's raining. Oh, good. I thought it was the box. <laughs> she, no, she. Volp is like curled up around yeah. her legs to keep out of the water. <laughs> uh, um, vents, <laughs> tunnels. Look, tiny tunnels. Yes. 
Yeah. Are, yeah. There, are there events? Yeah, sure. There's a vent. There's a vent uh, just at exactly uh, your guys' height that you can easily walk into, and it would, wouldn't even be uncomfortable for Isaac. Excellent. <laughs> oh, look. Gnome <laughs> tunnels. <laughs> <laughs> Go for and just... Uh, you could, uh, uh, I have the uh, infusion uh, uh, strength armor. Okay. So you just grab it and just pop it off and just walk in. Just like, see you suckers. All right. Grab a handful of food, shove it in my mouth. All right. Okay. So <laughs> into, the, into the vents. Perfect. All right. You go into the vents. It is much quieter in the vents. There is less screaming, but there is uh, some water coming into the vents somehow. Uh, and it's quite slippery and it's really, really dark. Mm. Well, light. Okay. I think we all have dark vision, though. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, it's not that yep. dark. So the vent goes for, <laughs> for about 20 yep. feet, and then it drops straight down. Ah, it'll be fun. How far down? Uh, I don't know, 15 feet. It looks like it might be a slide. Ooh. Yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. All right. Whee! Uh, yeah, it's just, like a slip and slide. No, uh, there's water running in here, right? Yes, exactly. Yes, ex <laughs> excellent. A slip and slide with rat yeah. droppings. <laughs> Uh, so a slip and slide. <laughs> <laughs> uh, before sliding down, uh, I put the uh, the uh, the grate back. Oh, uh, perfect. And then, ah. Yeah, and then cast mending. So it. Oh, okay. As uh, you are trying to put the grate back, that Weasley guy that said President Gemicule Nine uh -huh. uh, is trying to get into the vent after you guys because oh. he's trying to run away. Ah, good. Uh, friends, come on in. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you. Oh no. Oh mm -hmm. no. No. Yep. Uh, What's your name? Uh, mending. And then his, uh, I, I'm Smogglenax in Intergestion. I'm the president of Gemicule 9. Oh, Wocket, we stole your friend. Oh, hi, hi, your lordship Intergestion. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh my gosh. I really <laughs> have to say, I didn't really mean for that to happen. The SMAP are an extra governmental organization of militant botanists. Yes, SMAP. They sound like they want to save the Mossnog. They, well, they do, but I mean, we already sold the planet. Why'd you do that? We had a lot of debt. Oh, that'll do it. That sucks. Yeah. All right, down we go. Ah! <laughs> All right, well, you push him down the vent first, yeah. right? <laughs> oh, yeah. We yeah, I was going to stay behind somebody named The Indigestion for long. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, okay, so anyhow, he goes down, and then you hear a large thump, and then, ow! <laughs> See? Uh, it's safe. He's fine. Now we go. All, all right. right. <laughs> <laughs> well, in that case, you don't need to roll me any damage. Uh, <laughs> 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 all right. So anyhow, uh, you land in uh, what looks like some sort of like air exchange filtration room or something like mm. that, mm -hmm. and you see, and you see, there's other people around here who are in waiters' uniforms, mm -hmm. but clearly they're not doing waiter things. Yeah. They're doing things to the ship. They're trying to get into a door labeled steering array which is somehow connected to this room for narrative convenience. And Gemicule says, <laughs> or not Gemicule says, so. <laughs> 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 oh, good. Doing okay over there, Joe? All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. So anyhow, uh, President Intergestion is going to go, Scal the Bax, is this your doing? How could you do this? She paid us so much money for GMQL9. We're all going to get jobs at the day spa. <laughs> 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 and a very brave looking Gemmaculean says, because it was what was right to be done. And now we must do, now we must make the ultimate sacrifice. We must crash this into Gemmacule 2. And, and... <laughs> And Interjustin says, no, we'll never fill out the paperwork before we die. And they just have an argument, and they're going to do their thing. If you guys want to just walk past this. Indeed. Yeah, yeah. That, that sounds yeah, convenient. Yeah, we should get out of here. Okay. Well, they're having a good time. Hey, he has something you can steal. That mm. looks shiny. The sash? Yeah. 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 Souvenirs. Uh, yeah. You can be president. He's distracted. I'll mage hand it. Yeah, yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You can take the sash from him. There's a lot going on right now. Great. Uh, he's arguing with the with the SMAP, Good. and uh, you know uh, somebody is bringing up the fact that you know uh, Esper Espernat was going to pay them well. They're going to get three weeks of vacation. Like it was a union gig. You know. It was like, <laughs> <laughs> you know. So maybe there's some discussions happening. <laughs> Wait, union gig? 
Yeah. <laughs> so they're Keep they're walking, <laughs> stress. They're they're gonna they're gonna go on and uh, and you're going to uh, come into an office that says uh, where where does it say? Uh, you're gonna you're gonna see the assistant steward's office. Ah, uh, yep. There's paperwork in there. Yep. Mm. I bet you Beppis is in there. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. All right. Do you want to try to go in there? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. All yeah. right, well, it's, you know, your below quarters door's not locked, and there, indeed, you do find your elephant friend, and he's <laughs> been jammed into a uniform, which somehow doesn't fit him very well, even though all you look great. And he yeah. goes, oh, they, oh, oh, they took one look at me, and they said I had a face for paperwork, and I couldn't be around the guests. I missed you so much! <laughs> oh, Bethes! <laughs> I'm going to run over and, like, hug one of his legs. He's going to hug you back. No. They, they weren't wrong. Mm. Yeah. That is a face made for paperwork. Uh, we ate some really fancy food and then slid down a slide. <gasps> I, I'm really hungry. Did you save me any? No, I had to eat it so shrimp. I could get out. <laughs> Just a pocket full <laughs> of shrimp. <laughs> 100%. Ooh, pocket shrimp. Boom has collected a souvenir from each place. This place is shrimp. <laughs> Beppus has keen senses and or keen sense of smell, so I get advantage on smell checks. Uh, so Beppus is going to look at that and say, no thanks. <laughs> You're smarter than you look. Uh, all right. So Is now your other pocket full of uh, uh, the red sauce? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Just like dip. <laughs> it's warm now. Yeah. <laughs> all right. You have Bepis. Bepis now where no. do you want to go? Bepis. Um, How do we get off of here? I, where are we? I don't know where we are. There's these weird paintings of, of like they look like stars, but close up outside. I think we might be off the... The, like, I think we're in the sky! Oh no! We should... I can't uh, breathe in the sky. I look for uh, signage. There must be emergency signage around here. There, like fire exit? Uh, or escape, escape pod? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. If Okay, make me an investigation check. If anything says escape, we're like, ah, look, a sign. Uh, 14. Sign, 14. Sign of a guy running away from a fire. I'm, I'm, I, I got a nine. A nine? I'm going to say that uh, you uh, see a lot of, like, stuff on the walls and arrows and everything like that. Um, and uh, But Cameron, you find a ship's you find a ship's diagram, and it does have, indeed, on the bottom, escape pod array. Oh. Mm. 17. All right. Okay. Yeah, then you find right. that you find that, and you know exactly where to go. The only problem is you do have to go back through the main ballroom. Mm. That's the fastest or route. Is there a hangar? Oh, a hangar. Yeah. Ooh, can we can we steal this lady's ship? Absolutely. Uh, with a seventeen, you definitely find out where Espernat. Um, a hangar. Espernat Star Blaster the Seventh private private spaceship is docked. Ooh. Ooh. I can figure that out. Yeah. yeah. All right, so let's say you both have to, you, you have to, basically the fastest way to both of these places is, uh, is through the main ballroom or up sort of around that area, just so you get a bit more chaos before you get there. But you can either go to the escape pods or you can go to the private hangar bay. Private hangar bay. Private, private hangar bay, bay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Yeah, there's, there's got to no be something question. great here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, yeah. perfect. Yeah, servants, yeah. servants exit? No. <laughs> okay. Boom, boom, boom has an unsettling grin. Okay. So you're going to go by, and you don't actually have to go through the main ballroom because that would be ridiculous. Mm -hmm. uh, but who wants to who wants to make me, uh, uh, who wants to tell me what they see through the windows down to the main ballroom before we leave? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we look down into the, um, may I? Yes, yes go yes, for it. Good. Mm -hmm. We look yep. down into the main ballroom, mm -hmm. uh, and it is just chaos as SMAP has actually unleashed a bag of these creatures uh, into the ballroom itself. Uh, some of them are on fire. Coincidentally, they have incredible fire resistance, yet still burn, uh, and are running around uh, uh, attempting to, what did you say uh, earlier, poodle leap? Uh, yeah, the poodle stomp. The poodle stomp, uh, trying to poodle stomp on all of the shrimp that are scattered around the floor, thereby causing more chaos. They slip, they fall, they slide everywhere. People are screaming. Uh, there are two people over in the corner applauding, thinking this is all a play. Uh, and I forgot her name. I'm so sorry. Espernat Starblaster the Seventh. Espernat Starblaster the Seventh uh, has uh, gone into uh, hormonal rage, uh, as is befitting her species uh, at at the moment, uh, lashing out at absolutely everybody blindly okay. in the middle Ooh. of the room. Perfect. So she's stomping. How many stomping. mouths does she have? Uh, just the one. Okay. That we can see. Yeah. That's true. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so I think it's uh, trying to get through this ballroom, avoiding the flaming... Sorry? 
the name uh, of the uh, lesser creature, spotted moss dogs. The le lesser spotted moss dogs uh, getting past uh, uh, where she is and getting out the other side. All right. Okay. Um, uh, so uh, you <clears throat> are basically mostly able to do that, but right before you're able to sidle out, uh, you know, past the past the architect screaming because somebody has 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 uh, has ruined his model, um, and uh, you uh, do you remember that guy with the scar and the laser gun? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He gets in front of the door as he sees you guys leaving and he says, You! I don't know any of you. Where do you come from? You are the people behind this. Or my name isn't Neck on the Cron. <laughs> uh -huh. I use Mage Hand to uncock his gun. <laughs> <laughs> like you... <laughs> 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 Make me, uh, make, I don't know, make, let's see who's faster. Neck okay. or you? Make me a dexterity check. Okay. Nine! Well, Neck's got a 16, so I'm gonna say he, you say he, 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 he is able to re-cock his gun, I suppose, after you mage hand it, and, and, uh, let's roll some initiative. Alright. Uh. Oof. 17. Uh, I got a 12. Yeah, I got a eleven. All right. Well, Neck rolled a nine, so he's going last. Uh, so Hugh uncocked his gun. He he looked at you, made eye contact very purposely, and recocked it. But now it's your turn. <clears throat> do I do the funniest thing in the world? <laughs> <laughs> Mage hand, like, does it have a safety? <laughs> yes, obviously. Yes, of yeah. course. <laughs> Would you like to do anything else? <coughs> you can have a you can have a move action or anything you can perform as a free action. Uh okay, he is blocking our exit. He's blocking your exit. Um I reach into uh I oh, can I do two actions at once? I want to like mage hand with pocket sauce. <laughs> I'll allow it. I'll, <laughs> I'll give up my action. Yeah, yeah no, I'll allow it. There's, yeah. a, there's a lot going on. He's going to be distracted by one of the flaming lesser spotted nos moss nogs. Yeah, pocket uh, shrimp sauce. Yeah. Ha! All right, perfect. I'm my gonna... souvenir! Ooh, and he rolls a five. So I'm going to say that you hit him with shrimp sauce, and now he is, uh, his vision is... Is impaired. It's, he's just like, ah, ah, <laughs> oh, it's spicy. Ah. <laughs> uh, anyhow, somebody from the back screams, "Anarchy now!" <laughs> it's your turn. Uh, my turn. So he very clearly said his name, correct? Uh, yes, his Marvelous. name is Neck Omnicron. Great. And we definitely heard the big lady give a speech, right? Yes. Great. I cast Minor Illusion in the direction of the big lady using his name, saying, "You must hurry. I need you now." Okay. Immediately. All right. Yep. Ah, and he goes. Ah, he can't ah, see. Ah, ah, and he's and he he starts stumbling towards it. Yep. Great. Let's go. All right. Uh, yeah. You all move past him. Uh, you are able to successfully not really need to roll any dice at all, and you find. Uh, the the shuttle bay. Uh, for the the luxury private shuttle bay. Uh, <laughs> 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 Boom is just like like rushes towards it. <laughs> My baby. Is it? Okay. Beep, We've beep, got beep. chrome. Uh-huh. Matte gray with a gray stripe down the middle. Yeah. That one's depressing and weird. Uh, gloss black. Yeah, what do we feel like today? There's, okay, so what you see, you get up there, there's doors, and they have big glass panels in so you can see into the private shuttle bay, and like the, the garage of any rich per person, uh, Isaac is right, there's like... 15 varieties of small, sleek, cool-looking spacecraft. Yep. They're all there. Mm -hmm. uh, and you can uh, choose from any one which you like, but the doors are closed right now. And they go, beep, 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 beep. Access code, please. Uh, how heavy does the door look? Uh, does the President Sash have any kind of, like, is this a badge of, of station that might be useful for bypassing the security? Why don't you try it? I hold it up. Beep, beep, rank too low. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> Didn't they make him a manager at the spa? <laughs> oh, we're waiters. We're private waiters. Yeah, hold up, like, whatever the insignia is on here. 
I'm certain one of these private shuttles has a wait staff that needs to prepare and get on there. So I try using one of these. Yep. Beep, beep. Access granted for one hour. Mm. Good enough. <laughs> All right. Which, one, spa one hour. which spacecraft do you choose? The jankiest looking one. <laughs> All right. Describe it. Uh, what draws you to it? Oh, it's, it's, uh, oh, uh, these all look, uh, these shuttles all look absolutely amazing, uh, but they break down constantly. The only thing that works in here consistently is a, uh, pretty much a straight box with two, uh, towing arms, tub, uh, with a tractor beam emitter, uh, out the back so that they can get towed when these things break or people party too hard and like spill something on the controls, which happens all the mm -hmm. time. He runs right over to the workhorse. All yeah. right. It's this one. I'm going to call it the boom tube. All right, perfect. You, you, uh, you go up to this thing. Because it's a box and I called it a tube. Fair. It's clever. I like it. Thank you. You get inside. You eventually you pu puzzle out like how to open the doors and uh -huh. like pop open the little staircase that, that comes down and, yep. and lets you in. And miraculously, <clears throat> there's like four things that look like seats. Although the driver's seat is like super wide and it's like clearly meant to accommodate six legs. Mm -hmm. So it's like it's kind of like that must be the Aspernat. Maybe she drives this thing. Maybe she you know likes off Nebula trucking <laughs> every once in a while. I'm gonna need some help. Yeah, uh, you, this, you may be too small for this, actually. Yeah. Yep. I'm going to need some help. All right. What do you need? Okay. I can, I can do this. I got, we got, we've got 10 legs between us. 12 legs between us now that Beppus is here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Good. All right. Everybody on a pedal. And then including, like, the familiar, uh, like, my construct. All right. Uh, Fox is going to have to do some work. Yep. Excellent. Bolt's Good. got a foot on one of the pedals. Okay. Okay, make me a figuring out a six, uh, six-legged, super tall lady starship, okay. star truck. Uh, uh, Roll. Uh, let's see. Whatever you think will help you the most. Arcana. Sure. Yeah, I this, think that's this would be, be arcana. kind of arcane. You Ooh, have, and remember, Erica, you have inspiration. Yes, I, you do. I do. I think. I think I'm probably going to use that. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's significantly better. Uh, let's see, six, seven, thirteen. Thirteen? Mm -hmm. Uh, twenty-three. Twenty-three? <clears throat> Nine. Nine. I'm gonna, I should roll for Beppus and see what he gets. <clears throat> oh, an eleven. All right, uh, so, uh, you three are all like, mm -hmm. let's hold mm -hmm. down the pedals, mm -hmm. but you completely figure out the activation sequence and how to make this thing work. What are you gonna do? Okay. These have to be pressed in a specific order. Each one of these fires a different one of the jets that navigates it. See, if we press this, it goes, what? Yeah. And then if we press this one over here. Beppis, press that, press that one. <laughs> Whoop, there we go. Okay, all right. So I'm gonna need you and you and Isaac to press all at the same time. Got it? Okay. Got it. Go. Uh, Boom. <laughs> and then she slams on the one that hits the back and goes forward. All right. Well, the spaceship, I'm gonna say, sort of goes forward and then dips a bit, and then goes up a bit, and then lurches to the left and the right as people are... No, 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 keep it on. Keep the pressure on. Keep yeah, the pressure yeah. on. Yeah, you sort of even on... You, uh, and, then, and then you see a... And you hear a beep, 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 beep. Approaching bay doors. Please open bay doors. Please open bay doors. Ah. Please open bay doors. Open bay doors. <laughs> open bay doors. <laughs> Please open bay doors. May hand. May hand. Uh, uh, do a look around check. Everybody yeah, look yeah. around for a way to open the bay doors. Investigation? Sure. In, oh, investigation? Whatever, you, whatever you literally think it will give you the best yeah, chance. Yeah, investigation. Of success. Uh, oh, thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah, I got, uh, I got an 12. eleven. All right, I'm gonna roll for Beppus. Twelve. Oh, Beppus doesn't roll very well either. But what'd for you the, get? Eleven. 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 Twelve. What'd you get? Thirteen. All right, uh, Beppus got a four. So good. He, he did very bad. All right, but you are going to. Uh, eh, um, you're gonna take your mage hand and you're just gonna start slapping around and then eventually you're gonna find basically what is a sun visor with a little like garage door on the <laughs> top. And you're gonna hit it and right before you, right before the truck is gonna slam into these doors, they slowly start to open up. And it goes, beep, doors opening, please wait. Please do not leave Galaxy until shuttle bay doors I, have I, closed again. I move the again. side view doors, the windows, or the side view mirrors in. 
<laughs> yeah, absolutely. As you just, as the shuttle kind of lurches left, right, and blasts out yeah. of the uh, of the <clears throat> platinum sermon, and uh, and you see that the whole ship somehow they have a managed to unfurl a banner on the outside that says <laughs> SMAP. <laughs> <laughs> Someone in a spacesuit is graffitiing a lesser spot is not moss nog on the side. Uh, and there's fire in the windows and all sorts of things. And it seems to be listing terribly towards one of the other planets. And it looks like it's gonna crash land there. And would any like would anyone like to ask what Bepis has to say about this? Yes. Yes. Bepis goes, oh no, I think that's Jimicule too. They're famously bureaucratic. Apparently it takes years to fill out their immigration forms. <laughs> I didn't think that place sounded so bad though. Uh, <laughs> 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 then, and you blast off and then, then what, do you want to press a button or anything like that now that you're in space? Uh, uh, I, I don't, mm, this I, one. No. <laughs> what, I, I look at the center column and press the one that uh, the button that is marked with a small triangle pointing right. <laughs> <laughs> the indicator comes on. <laughs> Man. <laughs> oh, very good. Um, uh, is there like a readout or anything like tells us like where we are or is there like any... Oh, there's all sorts of weird information that doesn't make any sense in dials that have strange runes on them. Uh, uh, but you're just going to press a button at random, right? Just slap. I'm just going to slap something to see what happens. All right. Well, first the windshield wipers come on. Great. And then a missile flies out and, oh, hit, no. and hits the platinum sermon and it starts crashing a lot faster. Uh, their immigration process is going to be a lot faster. Uh, and, uh, yeah, they might and, be expedited. <laughs> uh, and uh, then what else happens? Uh, and then um, um, a coffee dispenser goes, and like an odd, like a nest, like a like a nest cafe kind of like instant <laughs> coffee hands you a cup of coffee. Uh, do you want a cup of coffee? No. No. Anybody want to take the coffee? I, I could. I, okay. Yeah, I could go for okay, one. Okay, I think you take <laughs> the call this Mr. Coffee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you take the coffee, yeah. but but then you hit. Another button, and everything goes white, and then everything goes weird and wibbly wobbly, and then, and then something else happens. What happens, Jacob? Are we dead? This, uh, as the white light fades, <sighs> excuse me, as the white light fades, you find yourself sitting in similarly shaped chairs that you were in before but it almost looks like you're on the inside of a wine barrel, is what it sort of looks like. There are crystals in the roof sort of illuminating things. The readouts uh, that were around the consoles have turned into a rich mahogany wood with different colored glass and crystals embedded in it, going around the circumference of this uh, this weird space you find yourself with, appointed with beautiful, rich velvet and leathers. It is comfortable and smells homey. You can see outside because there are parts of the wood that are see-through, almost not there. You know that there is wood, mm -hmm. but you can see through it. And you see that you are approaching a world that looks shattered. There are two layers of clouds, one on the outside and one at the core of this structure and land masses all around in between those two layers. And you can see it almost looks like at this point a puzzle. Huh. It looks like at one point all of these pieces fit together you find you are falling towards it faster and faster and faster until you cannot take it anymore and pass out. Everybody take a long rest as well. Mm -hmm. uh, gain a point of inspiration for that. That was amazing. And I am going to be taking over the, uh, the next game tomorrow. All right. That was Hooray. fantastic, Kathleen. Yeah. Thank you, Kathleen. Thank you, Kathleen. That was amazing. That was very funny. <clears throat>
That is, like, as soon as you got to, like, do you, do you want to talk to anybody? It's like, ah, this yeah, is a course. very Kathleen campaign. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was, that was great. That was amazing. Uh, Yay, I'm glad everyone liked it. I wanted to come up with something silly and fun and uh, you did. That was definitely one-off. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> that was outstanding. That was amazing.